While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. On that sign, read that top part right there where it say, the so-called blacks, you see what that say? You know why they say that? Because we are the children of Israel. That's why I say that. We're the children of Israel. I'm gonna prove to you that we are the children of Israel. Let me get that Deuteronomy 28 to 68. Now I want you to take a close look at this. Look real good at this. Real good at this, tell me what you see. What you see? It's a yoke of iron. What's up? What's this? Okay. Who on this boat? Yeah. Who, who you see? This how they lined them up in the boat. Them ain't dead people. They alive. I'm finna show you that. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What was he talking about when the Lord said, I'll bring you into Egypt again with ships? Anybody familiar with any Bible stories about Moses coming out of the land of Egypt? You familiar? So y'all not familiar with that? Notice they walked out of the land of Egypt. If you ever saw the movie, they walked out of the land of Egypt. They didn't need no boat. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Moses told us, we won't see our homeland no more again. Read. And there you should be sold unto your enemies. Sold unto your enemies. Read that again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. The Lord shall bring you into slavery again with ships. You know, you know Egypt is synonymous with bondage. That word Egypt means bondage. It was a Greek word. It mean hard bondage. You understand what I'm saying? So the Lord said, I'm going to bring you into bondage again. What is bondage? Hey, brother. You you slavery. Bondage is slavery. Read. Hold on, sir. Read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And you shall see your homeland no more again. Now what's going to happen when they get off the ship? And there you should be sold unto your enemies, for by men and women, Bond man and bond women. Slave man and slave woman. That's talking about us. We came over here on ships and when we got off those ships, we were served for slave man and slave woman. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? That's us when we are the children of Israel. That's when we trying to bring awareness to you that you are the children of Israel. You understand? And the, and, the, and the reason why we went into there, the reason why we went into slavery in the first place, show, show them Deuteronomy 15. Give me 28, 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, and I will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That was a curse right there. He said, all these curses gonna come upon you and overtake you because you didn't listen to the commandments to the Most High God. You didn't listen when Moses gave us the commandments. You understand? Do you know some of the commandments we was given? Give me that Deuteronomy. Give me two of them 21, 21 to 5. Give me that 22 to 5. Let me show you a commandment right now that our peoples don't follow. Moses gave this commandment. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What pertains to a man that women wear every day, all day? What clothing pertains to a man? Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What garment do men put on they shouldn't be putting on that belongs to a woman? What clothing that they, you see it in the video, what clothing that they put on that don't belong, that, huh? Blouse. Exactly. A blouse, what else? What else they wear now? Dress. Exactly. It Read it from the top. It the woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It's talking about pants, sis. Did you know that they wore pants back then? Pants. Women didn't wear pants. Why? 
because pants pertains to a man. That's why the zipper is there. Right. That's why the zipper is there. You understand what I'm saying? This was the commandment given back way back then. You see how people's transgressing the commandments now? You see how they doing it, sis? That's see how they transgressing? By wearing pants. You in sin when you do that. Right. You sin. are sinning. A lot of y'all don't even know what sin is. What is sin? What is sin? Give me, what do you think sin is? You know what? Doing something you ain't got no business doing. It's not just doing something you ain't got no business doing. It's doing something that God told you not to do. Give me that. Give me sin. Give me sin. First John 3. Give me that. First John chapter 3 verse 4. Whosoever committed sin. Whosoever committed sin. Me, you, them driving around. Huh? You understand? Read. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law. Transgress what? Also the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of God's law. So when they wear pants and they wonder why things is going the way it is in the city and all this crime problem, because we're in sin. We're in sin. They don't teach you that in the church. You're not going to learn that in the church. You're not going to learn that in them Christian church, Baptist. You're not going to learn that. You never even heard this. You never even heard what sin was while you was in there. They never even mentioned it. How could you go to church Sunday after Sunday after Sunday and not know that? Not ever bring out what sin is? If I'm going to be judged, I want to know what I'm going to be judged for, right? You know what I'm saying? Bring it out. I want to know what I'm going to be judged for. I'm judged because the Lord gave me some commandments and I didn't keep them. You understand what I'm saying, sis? What's your name, sir? Sasha, I'm going to give you another commandment that our people do every day. You go to church? What day you go to church on? I'm going to show you what day you should go to church on. I'm going to show you that. Bring it out. Now, here's another sin that we do every day. Read. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember what? Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day. To keep it holy. What's the Sabbath day? Saturday. Saturday. So you know it's Saturday. Why the pastors don't have the Sabbath day holy and have church on Saturday? Why they don't do that? Because they going off they slave oppressor. That's when a white man say we going to have church Sunday. We're not going to have it. You know why? Because this book ain't for them. Our forefathers wrote it. He talking to us. He not talking to them. You think they didn't know that when they had you in slavery? You think they didn't know that? They do. Who the Bible was for? They knew that. So they changed it. No, we, instead of having it on the Lord saying, we're going to have it Sunday. Instead of the women's wearing dresses and being modest, we're going to have them wear pants. We're going to institute pants. Tattoos. Back then, people was making cuttings in their flesh for the dead. He say, don't do that. Did you know that was a sin? You see it all the time. R.I.P. Mama, you know, R.I.P. Uh, Big Joe, R.I.P. Little, little, little Boys. You ain't supposed to make no cuttings in your flesh. No cuttings, period. Read. No print any marks upon you. He said what? No print, print any marks upon you. That goes in depth. He say, no print. No cuttings. You know how they make them old, um, um, what you call them, those sororities, and they make the little cut in their chest and the fraternity and stuff. He say, brand. That's what it's called, brand. He say, no cutting in your flesh. Any go any deeper. Look at your arm. Read. I am the Lord. Read, uh, uh Go back up to print. And you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. Print. Is that a print? That's a print. He said, you ain't supposed to print no marks upon you. Why they didn't bring that out when you were sitting there? You never heard this. You never heard this all the time you were sitting there? I had never heard it either. Because they're not teaching. What they're doing is they're collecting money. Right. Tithes. When you go to the, when you all go to the church, you go there to be fed, right? Fed the word of God. You go there to hear the word of God and what you need to do to have salvation. Bring it out, buddy. Is that not what you go for? But if it come down to the end and I'm being judged, so what am I being judged for? Right. Bring it out. 
Don't you want to know? You want to be, you, they tell you the law is done away with. How is it possible it's done away? If it's done away with, then there is no judgment at the end. Bring it out. Think about it. If the law is done away with, then how can I be judged at the end? See what I'm saying? You see, you, 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 see the, you see the deceit? You understand what I'm saying? You get there in the end, but if there's no law, and they say the law is done away with, Christ came and did away with it, then can I sleep with a married woman? Can I sleep with a married man? Could I kill? Can I steal? Can I just lie all day for no reason? That's what you say, right? Matthew 19. That's what you say, right? No, matter of fact. Give me Matthew 5 and 17. Because they say it's done away with. Then how can I be judged? Right? So that means the law is still in effect. I'm going to show you in the New Testament that Christ did not do away with the law. Read Matthew chapter 5 verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. This is Christ. This Christ talking to himself. He say, think not that I come to destroy the law. Think not. Because people was thinking that back then. So he made it clear. Think not. Read. All the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. He said, I didn't come to destroy the law. Or anything that the prophets said. Moses, Isaiah, Ezekiel, um, Amos. You understand what I'm saying, sis? He said, I didn't come to destroy nothing that they said. I came to fulfill. Read. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I'm not come to destroy, but to fulfill. I come to fulfill. He come to fulfill what was written to him in the Bible. That's it, that he was going to come. You understand what I'm saying? And everything that was supposed to be done was going to be done unto him. That he was going to die. That's what he came to fulfill. You think he come to do away with his father's laws? Why would he keep them if he was doing away with them? You see what I'm saying? Read. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle, and no wise pass from the law. Hey, bro. You see the back of that? The information on the back of that. He say not through one dot or one tittle shall anybody pass from the law. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Now that you know that, don't get another tattoo. Right. Don't round up all your head. Not because you're feeling it. It's because God said don't do it. You understand what I'm saying? Because it's a judgment come for you destroying the temple of God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth